Albert Stuff, otherwise known as Flamingo, who is a YouTuber with 5 million or so subscribers, has not been taking crud from others lately, not hesitating to call out those who have used his intellectual property, thumbnails, and more. One of those which we covered in our Gaming with Kev video, where he stole the thumbnails from Color Clubs, who is a UGC artist as well as a thumbnail artist from Albert. A month later, Albert now is calling out infamous YouTuber Nixter V. Nixter V is a YouTuber with around 2 million subscribers, who makes comedy videos on his channel, parodies, as well as satirical content based on other YouTubers. We also covered him on the channel two years ago. Now today's incident involves him faking footage in his latest but now deleted video, known as Flamingo Trolled Me With Admin Commands, Roblox. Flamingo took this to Twitter and Nixter V apologized. But did he really? Many are dissatisfied with the apology he gave in a video, and you'll find out why in this video. Now some feel it is disingenuous, others feel it is monetized, and others feel that it is too much of advertisement. Many have also taken their opinions to the comments of the video, where some are complaining about Nixter V using Flamingo for views in other instances as well, as well as other YouTubers. In today's video, we're going to take both sides of the situation, from Nixter V's side to Flamingo to give a fair and non-biased perspective. Let's get started. My name's Snooky Alex, and this is our Roblox drama series, where we cover Roblox drama and equal sides of the matter. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. But before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe for the latest Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you never miss out on one of my videos. I upload once a week for your info. There's also two things that I'd like to say. If you could subscribe to Nick says Henlo, which it will be in the description, thank you so much. It would mean a lot to me if we could get him to 400. Also, we also have a new channel logo made by Pedro Arts. If you'd like to go check him out, the link will also be in the description. For this video, I will also leave all the links that you need to know. For example, the apology video, tweets, and other things that I will mention. Also in the comments or the description, and I'll try and organize it using timestamps. With that being said, let's get started with our grading process. Usually, we have a grading process to get non-biased and to organize both sides. For this video, we will be going our grading process in this order. Number one, what started it, tweets and replies. Number two, Albert's side. Number three, Nixter's side. And number four, community opinion. Our community opinion is where we go through YouTube comments, tweets, etc. or anything that relates to the matter. Let's get started with our general evidence in media, which is the tweets. <laughs> At 6.36 p.m. on March 28th, 2020, Albert tweeted, I wasn't actually in this vid, by the way. He's just using me for views. It's weird, lol. I only collab with my friends. I don't know this guy like that. He then replies to a thread by Rainway, which says, Not shooting anyone, but I find it crazy how some creators can completely fake themselves online and be okay with it. It's a shame the algorithm favors that type of content over those who are genuine and actually care about their fan base and content. Albert then replies, it's creepy what people will do for money slash views. Indirectly replying, Nixter V then takes down his original video titled, Flamingo Trolled Me With Admin Commands, and uploads an apology called, Dear Flamingo, I'm Sorry, Roblox. On that same day, it currently sits at 100,000 views. The description reads, Dear Flamingo, I'm sorry, and then there is a plug for Loxcraft, and then it says, In this Roblox video, I talk about how Roblox's Flamingo saw my video. Nixter V demonetizes the video, and then monetizes it again. On his Twitter, he says absolutely nothing about it. After going through his likes, he has not replied to the tweet or said anything about it. On Nixter's side, we will view the video to receive his side of the story. Nothing has since released since, so let's view Albert's evidence firstly. At 
to the video being made. In fact, he tweeted to show his utter dissatisfaction with the video being made. Many complain about identity theft. However, in Nick Stravee's video, there was actually a fake user called Mr. Flim Flim pretending to be Albert. Although it is legal to record someone without their consent in public places and on the internet, YouTube and many other sites have an option known as, I do not consent to me being filmed. In the video, Nick Stravee review was faking footage, and so therefore this can be argued for or against. However, YouTube does have a privacy takedown feature of videos if someone doesn't want them in their video private matters or public. An article from YouTube states, if someone has posted your personal information or uploaded a video of you without your consent, you should contact the uploader and ask them to remove the content. Presumably, this is what Albert did as the content was removed. If you can't reach an agreement with the uploader or you're uncomfortable contacting them, you can request to have the content removed based on our privacy guidelines. If you want to use the privacy complaint process, make sure that you are uniquely identifiable within the content you seek to report before proceeding. When assessing when an individual is uniquely identifiable, we consider the following factors. Image or voice, full name, financial contact, other personally identifiable information. When you report a privacy complaint, we consider public interest, newsworthiness, and consent as factors in our final decision. We don't know if Vix or V was contacted or if the video was removed by YouTube themselves. However, the first seems more like an option. In the video, there were multiple screen caps of his character in the video, as well as a fake name, leading viewers to believe it was Flamingo. It meets one of the factors of the content removal, and therefore, it can be removed without complaints on YouTube's side. And generally speaking, it seems immoral to a lot of people to fake an identity without someone's consent, whether an internet persona or real life persona. Nick Sir V has also been under a lot of public scrutiny for doing this in the past as well. He's used Flamingo's names as a target for tags, which if you do not know what tags are, tags are basically what you use to get in YouTube search. And because Flamingo is popular, he figures he can mooch off of his identity for his benefit. And all where you can see some non-consensual videos, three guest six, six, six sightings in Roblox videos, Flamingo, and then there's a picture of him on the thumbnail. Looking through past videos, it looks like they try and use Roblox, I hack Nixter V, etc. And other YouTubers are trying to be used. Let's review Nick's sides now. And he's actually provided a video for an apology known as Dear Flamingo. So let's move on after this short intermission. <laughs> Today I thought a real flamingo was playing with me on Roblox, but as it turns out, after I uploaded this video, it was revealed to me as a prank by my friend Lox. I had no idea. If I look at the footage right here, his name is Mr. Flimflim, and he made his name Mr. Flimflim on purpose. My friend Lox did to see if I would notice this, and I had no idea. Flamingo ended up seeing this video, and although I had no idea it was a fake Flamingo, he made a tweet about it, and I am so sorry. This was a complete misunderstanding. The person who pranked me, I'm going to call him up right now, and then I'm going to show you guys the footage of where he revealed to me it was a prank after we recorded this video, but before Flamingo made a tweet about me. Nixter V does have legal evidence on his side. Because you can record someone without their consent, there's also a law that applies to parodies, which Nick does consider his content satirical. There's a law called Nolo's Law, which is when an author hears an opinion, I wouldn't really consider him either of these things, lol, or an artist ridicules a well-known work by imitating it in a way. It's protected by fair use defense. Therefore, he does have legal rights to the video. His apology seemed eh in that video. I mean, it's somewhat genuous, but it also seems disingenuous in my opinion, so you can take it as you please. However, I think it's like a 22-year-old should know the difference between a fake username. He knows exactly what he's doing. But he's pulled things like this in the past with Flamingo, using his IP, which is intellectual property, for views and tag scores, and his viewers are young children, which makes him very susceptible to for this type of content. Therefore, Nick does have a legal case to his side, but very poor moral case. Let's go to the community opinion. Let's 
read some YouTube comments and some tweets in the replies. Our first tweet reads from Dido, Lol, the length dying channels will go through for some views is honestly dumb. This dude is infamous for clickbait, I'm not surprised. I don't know why so many people in the RTC follow him. Dude, I loved your vids before you started clickbait. Your videos suck now. Making a video to say sorry for Flamingo, but why did you say subscribe for more? No hate to you, but Flamingo's right. You used his ad revenue. Damn all your freaking videos are 10 minutes. And somehow you said you're not Mr. Top 5. Like what is going on inside your head you may have? Gotten some 10 year old kids to believe you, but you can't just use them for ad revenue. I tried to find positive comments in the mix, but there was none, unfortunately. It seems like we can come to our conclusion. Nixter is right legally, but he is not right morally. Scamming kids and making them believe something that they shouldn't isn't right. Kids are very susceptible to this type of stuff, and that isn't good on you as a content creator, where you should be setting goals and morals for yourself. Flamingo was in the right to call him out for his content, however, he could not get the video legally taken down for the other four aspects, but just one of them. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you if you'd subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Before we go, however, here is this week's featured fan art. See you all in the next video. Oh, yeah.